The next topic is our green cover. Just as soil is important for agriculture and human settlement, natural vegetation is important for rainfall and wildlife. Natural vegetation in India is not uniform. Climate, soil type, amount of rainfall and the competition with other organisms influence the growth of plants in distinctive forms. In this chapter, we are going to see major types of forests. First, the tropical evergreen forest. Second, tropical deciduous forest. Third, mangrove forest. Fourth, thorn forest. And the last one is the Himalayan forest. We are also going to learn about the uses of forest and the Chipko movement. Our green cover. Natural vegetation. Just as soil is important for agriculture and human settlement, natural vegetation is important for rainfall and wildlife. Natural vegetation in India is not uniform. Climate, soil type, amount of rainfall and the competition with other organisms influence the growth of plants in distinctive forms. Major Types of Forests Indian forests are broadly classified into five types. They are Tropical Evergreen Forests Tropical Deciduous Forests or Monsoon Forests Mangrove Forests Thorn Forests Himalayan Forests Tropical Evergreen Forests these forests are found in areas of the Western Ghats, the northeastern states of Himalayas and Andaman and Nicobar Islands which receive more than 200 cm rainfall. Ebony, Mahogany, Bamboo, Rubber, Rosewood and Sandalwood are the important trees grown here. Tiger, Rhinoceros, bears, leopards, pythons and swamp deer are found here. Tropical deciduous forests or monsoon forests. Peninsular India and the northern parts of India are covered by monsoon forests. These areas receive 100 cm rainfall. Teak, sandalwood, Sal, deodor, bamboo and ebony are some of the important trees grown here. These trees shed or drop their leaves during summer because of less rainfall. These forests are called deciduous forests. These types of wood are used for making furniture. Mangrove forests Mangrove forests are seen in the Indian coastal line, in the Ganga Delta and Brahmaputra region, in some backwater areas and salt marshes. The roots of the trees of most forests are found usually under the ground. But salt water trees have aerial roots which are above the water in order to survive in the salt water. These prevent soil erosion and prevent fertile soil from being washed away into the ocean. Vedaranyam and Pichavaram areas in Tamil Nadu have mangrove forests. Pichavaram forests protected many people from tsunami waves in 2004. Thorn forests Thorn forests are found in the areas which receive less than 50 cm rainfall. Parts of Deccan Plateau, South Punjab and the Thar Desert have thorny trees like Acacia, Babul and Pamira. Himalayan Forests The Himalayan forest types are varied according to the height of the slopes. The leaves of the trees found here are conical in shape so we call these coniferous forests. The lower Himalayas have evergreen forests. 
The Middle Himalayas have temperate forest trees like pine, birk, cedar, oak, chestnut, walnut and apple. You can see some of these trees in Uti, Upper Nilgiris and Kodai Hills. The Uses of Forests Forests provide oxygen for living things. Forests provide timber or wood for various types of construction work from house to ship building. Forests give us firewood, fruits, nuts and medicinal leaves. 